Okay, today we're going to talk about creating a book in InDesign. To create a book, the first thing I do is I create what's called a template file. If you notice the name of my file up here, it says Untitled 2. This was saved as an InDesign template uh, that you see in my folder over here in Bridge. It's INDT. Uh, now, the difference between a template file and a regular file is when you open up the template file, it opens up a copy of the file, and then you would make your changes, and then you would save it as something else. Uh, to save something as a template file is very easy. Just in the Save dialog box, on the bottom here, you have a choice, INDT, INDD, or InDesign CC Template INDT. So that's what I did. So first, you know, you design the look of your book. I set up my master page. Uh, I put some headers. Here's the name of the book. Uh, this number one over here, this is a text variable for my chapter number. On the other side, uh, this is another text variable uh, for the chapter name. But we'll talk about text variables in another lesson. Uh, let me go to my document page. Also, I have my page numbers down here, of course. Go to my document page. So I just put in some dummy text. I created my paragraph styles for everything. Everything has a paragraph style. There's my chapter number, uh, chapter name. There's the paragraph, the style for the first paragraph. Should look different from the rest. And then uh, this is basically all the rest of the paragraphs. I want to show you a setting I used in my preferences for my template file. So I'll go to Edit, Preferences, uh, Type. Down on the bottom here, I have Smart Text Reflow checked. I unchecked Limit to Primary Text Frames because I'm not using any. And I also checked uh, delete empty pages. You'll see what happens in a second. Let me just say OK. Now, uh, importing your text, you get here's my template file is open. Opens as untitled. I'll get rid of this text. Just delete it. Let's open up my pages panel, see what happens to me. Let me place this in. So I did Control D or Command D, or you could do File Place. Here's my first chapter. I'll hold down the shift key when I click the open button to see the options, or you can check the show import options checkbox. So or we're just going to remove all the formatting so we can put our own formatting in. And I'll say OK. Now I don't have any tax boxes at all made. InDesign is going to make them for me. So when I bring in the text, if I hold down the shift key, you see the cursor turns to that little uh, solid squiggly line. And now when I click, it's going to bring in all the text and it's going to add pages as needed. So there we go. Here's all the pages. Now notice how many pages we have. We have 75 pages. Now watch what happens when I format my text. So basically most of this is going to be a body. I'll do Control A. Click my body paragraph style. Then I'll just come back and apply a style to the first couple of chapters. Here's my chapter number. Here's my chapter name. And here's my first paragraph. Now notice over here, uh, notice I only have 65 pages now. When I applied my formatting, it took up less room. So now those extra pages uh, disappeared. That's because of that setting in my in my preferences panel. So here's my three documents. I have them open. Here's chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. I want you just to notice the page numbering. So chapter one goes from page one to 65. Chapter two goes up to one to 15. Chapter three goes up to page 10. Uh, I'm going to close these files. And then we're going to use the book panel to create what we call a book. Now let's create the actual book. So we'll go here to File, New, and choose Book. Now this is going to create a panel for us. Uh, let's save this. Uh, 
walled in. So once you do that, it creates a panel for you. So now what you have to do is you have to put your documents in this panel. So you can hit the plus sign over here, go searching for your files and add them in. That was one way to do it. Or you can actually just drag them in uh, from your file system, from Windows Explorer or Finder. Uh, I'm a big fan of Bridge, so if you have Bridge open, you can also just drag them in from Bridge. Bridge also, you know, basically is a substitute or a big improvement on your file system. So I'll just drag these in. So now they all come in. You'll notice here, this column here, these are your page numbering. Uh, you can open also open up your files. So when I open up the files, you'll see that they've been renumbered. So for example, here's chapter two. Chapter two now starts on page 66 and goes to page 80. So here's all your page numbers. So this book panel, uh, this will allow you to keep all your files in sync. It manages all your InDesign files. So say you're doing a very large book that may be, you know, like, you know, 20 plus chapters, you can do all kinds of stuff right from the book panel without even having to have those documents open. So for example, let's open up the other files. Here's my chapter one and my chapter two are open. I'm gonna leave chapter three closed for now. Uh, let's say after you create your uh, books here, you decide you want to uh, make a change to a paragraph style or something like that. Uh, we can do that. Uh, you know, let's first take a look at the synchronization options for your book panel. So let's go to the menu here. Synchronize options. Here's all the things that you can synchronize with your book panel. So pretty much anything you might want to change. Master Pages is there, but it's not checked by default. So you can update all your styles, your swatches, all these things that you want to keep consistent. Cross-references, lists, conditional text settings, all kinds of stuff. So I'll just say OK. So now let's say, for example, right now I'm in Chapter 2. And... Um, my client says, well, they want to change the look of the chapter name. So I'll go to go to my paragraph styles. Well, let's see what paragraph style is using. I'm sure it's using uh, my chapter name paragraph style. So here it is. So let's make a change. So I will right click, edit chapter name. And let's say, let's go to character formats and let's say instead of a uh, adobe garamond semi bold uh, we want bold italic let's hit the preview so i don't particularly like that but let's say okay so now uh, that paragraph style has only changed in chapter two chapter one it's still the same chapter three is not even open but let's synchronize everything together so here's my book panel uh, chapter 2 is the f document that I used when I made the changes. So I click over here in this little box. That sets my chapter 2 as my source file. Now, uh, I want to synchronize everything. If you want to synchronize everything, make sure nothing is selected. So I'll, if something is selected, you can just click in the empty area here. And I'll click the little synchronized double arrows here. I'll click on that. Uh, I'll get a little message that synchronization was changed. Some documents may have changed, and I'll say OK. So now if I go to Chapter 1, you see it's changed, and I'll open up Chapter 3. So this wasn't even open at the time, and you can see that also updated. So that's the end of Part 1. Please watch Part 2.